So I'm directing a session on functional neurologic disorders. Functional neurologic disorders is a new term, if you will, for psychologically induced symptoms or what used to be called conversion disorders. And the point of the session is that in the world of epilepsy, which is my specialty, we see that on a regular basis. As you know, they've been called psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. Now they're called functional seizures. It's very common. And the point is that psychologically induced symptoms don't limit themselves to seizure-like episodes. So what we're trying to do in this course is give a broader view uh, where I will be initially discussing psychogenic seizures, the most well-described, the most well-known psychogenic symptom. And then we will also be discussing other symptoms in neurology that may be psychological or functional. Uh, I'll be briefly describing functional symptoms outside of neurology because it affects every specialty. And lastly, uh, we will be discussing the psychological and psychiatric aspects. What psychiatric diagnoses do these patients have and what are the treatment of choices? Not enough research, uh, but there are recent data about treatment, especially the efficacy of cognitive behavior therapy and SSRIs. Those really do work. As far as diagnosis, uh, it's complicated. Again, in the world of epilepsy, there are tons of research. And if you put the word psychogenic in PubMed, you find 90% of the articles are about seizures and non-epileptic seizures. Very little about other things, maybe movement disorders a little more. So there's not enough research in answer to your question. In the other areas of neurology, that is not a favorite topic for people to research. It's in fact a little neglected. Uh, and that's unfortunate, but at least in the area of treatment, there has been some progress. Well, my friend, Dr. LaFrance, who will be one of the presenters in my session, has, has uh, been an author on those uh, publications several on the use of SSRIs and several on the use of CBT, cognitive behavior therapy. Now, these are focused again on psychogenic non-epileptic seizures or functional seizures. Whether they expand to other symptoms, I would say most likely, but that's where more research is needed. So th that's a very important part uh, because the, psychi the psychiatric diagnoses are in fact common to various presentations. Whether you present with psychogenic seizures or psychogenic cough or psychogenic double vision, the psychopathology is likely the same. So the diagnostic part from the psychiatric point of view is probably the same. As you know, the terminology has changed with the DSM-4 and now 5. So the terms are a little different. Uh, and that's where, where that, uh, that, that part comes in. What psychiatric diagnoses do these people have? And very importantly, differentiating them from factitious disorders and malingering because in those situations the patients are consciously feigning symptoms whereas in functional symptoms they are not. So that's a big distinction that my friend Dr. LaFrance will explain.